Alright guys, welcome back to more Pez 6 today, so um, yeah, last season, so close yet so far and we have to do it all over again today and um, well, just before we get into anything, we can't sign anyone at this point, we have to play uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach first before we can actually get to any of that, but uh, before we do that, uh, just to go over some of the stats from last season I suppose, um, I think goal and goal assists, so um, yeah, uh, Perso for Rangers uh, got five goals. Or Bina, we signed, only signed him in the winter, we only got five and come second joint with uh, Marcus Bent there. Uh, so that was pretty nice. Uh, we also got Castola on that list with three. So uh, yeah, um, Espinus got a couple of goals and he got onto the... Uh, oh, no, actually, no, no, wait, he got just one goal, I think, last season, didn't he? But he got one assist, so uh, yeah, he got him... well... Two, no, wait, no, I got two assists, so I'm, I'm getting my words mixed up, but yeah, um, Sonko from Rangers got uh, five there, so um, interesting, cup info, um, let's have a look, goal, goal, assists, so Romadal, I think Romadal was like the best player overall in the cup and, and everything, um, did we have anybody, oh no, we didn't, we didn't even score in the cup, did we, so we can't even have anything, <laughs> um, so... Yeah, Holland took it. I think Holland was like the best overall player anyway. Um, yeah, there he goes. Oh wait, no, he was the assist leader. Top goal scorer was Ramadal, an overall best player. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, I think if we have a look, so we know who won. Uh, Chelsea uh, were the uh, Champions League winners. They won the Champions League uh, against Barcelona 2-1 in the final. Just for uh, just so you guys know, look at that West Ham in Barcelona there, like, just what? <laughs> and uh, Real Madrid won the UEFA Cup. Uh, as for the um, goal and goal assists for the uh, UEFA Cup and Champions League, uh, Asamoa with Schalke there got four, Cassano uh, who came second there along with um, Van Nistelrooy, Maduro and Schneider for Ajax, so uh, that's kind of interesting. Even BC and Arteta for Everton got on there, so... Uh, assists was Fambregas, so two for him. Oh, well, actually, joint um, first with quite a few players there. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Champions League assist leader was Lampard and Nedved with three each. And quite a few. Look at all these West Ham players, man. Uh, Tevez was actually a uh, joint top as well, along with Ronaldinho, Drogba, and Fred of Lyon there. Um, for top goal scorers in the Champions League. Uh, point ranking. I don't know if we've been through this before. Um, Cassano there with the top forward. Van Nistelrooy second. Eto third. Owen of Newcastle fourth. Totti fifth. Uh, midfielders Deco is averaging the best. Sadov second. Raquel Mir, Villarreal, Lampard, then Joe Cole. Uh, defenders Chivu, Zambrotta, Ashley Cole, Samuel and Reisiger. And Tolder. Tolder always seems to get top goalkeeper in this game. It just always does. Um, Czech followed second. Casillas, Canadzares, and Landuru. Uh, there. And um, if we want to have a look at the uh, top assist leaders, Deco got 15 assists last season, uh, followed by Sadov Vicente. And anybody else make that list? Gerard is there with 10. Joe Cole, Sano Schneider. Of, uh, by Leverkusen and top goal scorer was Drogba last season. He got 25 goals. Uh, Asamoa finishing up in second there, and um, so you might well could be a good signing. Who knows, guys? Go for it. Go for it. Uh, Sheringham, who has retired, got 14 as well. Torres is on that list uh, with 14 too. So quite interesting. No oh gosh, it's it's horrible, guys. It's horrible. Hampson is back in the team now. Ugh. His loan has ended at um, at Celtic, so um, yeah, we're going to have to uh, play with him again, I suppose. But uh, what we really want to do here is we really want to try and win as... Oh, not too bad of an effort. We want to try and win as many games as possible in pre-season because then we'll get a few extra points and we definitely need to build at the back, I think. I think what we kind of need is... Um, we need a better keeper for one. And we need uh, we need a good solid centre back, at least one. The thing is, though, guys, what you got to remember is we just don't have a, the budget it, at the moment. We don't even have enough money um, 
to um, to pay off the team salary. So we might only able to afford maybe one slash two players. Um, I'm not so sure, really. I mean, um, I just, I, you know, what I mean, we 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 all wish that we was preparing for a season in the Prem, don't we? That's that's really what we um we all wish right now. But unfortunately, not. We have to do it again. Here's Obina. Good shot. Gonna go out. Um, you know what I mean? I was really so hopeful last season that we would have just done it and uh, we would have been preparing for a new um, season um, in the top flight, but uh, unfortunately not. So uh, Yulu and Obina are up front today. Uh, we're just going to have to get through pre-season and then we're just going to have to um, do it all again, guys. There's just nothing else to it, really. We have to do it all over again. Um, so... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, one thing that I'm almost thinking though is if if the first half of our new season goes right and we're in a really good position and we pretty much knew that we're going to get promoted. I mean, I know there's still a possibility that we might not even do that. But if we pretty much know that we're going to... Um, oh. Oh, come on. What? What? Oh, we've won another corner. Oh, look at that! He was in the right, the right position to get that. Um, oh, that's lovely. That's a really nice goal by Obina. Um, no, what I, what I was saying was, is if um, if it's going right and we, we're confident, what what I might even do is skip the next transfer window and save the money for um, for the uh, the um, the the. the well, the summer window next season, basically, in, in a year's time in the game. So, you know, I think that's what we might do, to be honest, if it's going right. Because I'm, I'm pretty, to be honest, guys, the stats on papers, we, we should, we should get, be getting promoted next season. You know what I mean? It, it's, um, it's like inevitable, really, isn't it? But I mean, I know there's still a possibility that we wouldn't, but surely, surely we would do it after two seasons. Um, after, because like when when I was talking about it earlier, um, I was saying I think it was in the first half of the season. There was a, maybe one or two matches, and I kept saying we might have to spend an extra season in this division. As it's turned out, we're gonna have to. And um, but you know what? It's not the worst thing in the world, really. I mean, it's just annoying that we've missed out on the, on the very last day, and. Um, like uh, you know, it's not it's not the bad thing because like you know, there's a lot of good teams in the prem, and to be honest, they're probably going to absolutely tear our defence apart. Most of them, I bet. So <laughs> it's probably a good thing that we um we maybe didn't get up there. You know what I mean? It gives us the chance to build, as I keep saying. So and uh, you know what I mean? We'll be we'll, we'll be in a much better position. We'll be much more ready for it and um, what we can do is if if we can and hopefully we will hopefully if we get fair spot in the league next season we could maybe uh, hopefully try and win the um, the cup as well because if we manage to win the cup um, that would be perfect well done either there it's a good take um, we'll get a few more extra points in maybe we can sell a few players I mean we need to sell some and then we can just go on a bit of a spending spree, acquire a few extra players, and then just, um, well, you know, see what happens, really. Ooh, that's close. They've still got it. Oh, well done, Espimus. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's not the worst thing in the world, really. It's just it's just annoying that we couldn't have got up there earlier and uh, maybe had a good go of it. I mean, to be honest, guys... Um, I don't honestly believe, I mean, I think with the team we've got, even if we did get up there first time, I honestly don't believe that relegation would be a problem. I mean, you need in this division, you need about 20... Oh, well done, Obina. Fantastic shot. Great, great save, though. Um, in this division, you need about 25 points to get promoted. And in the Premier League, you're going to need, like, 25 points to avoid relegation. And I think in 30 games will easily do that. I mean, we managed to get... I know the teams are going to be a bit different in the Prem. You know, I mean, they're going to be better teams and whatnot. But, like, you know, 25 points in the... Oh. 
Ah, oh, come on, Yulu. You've got to be getting that on. Um, 20, 25 points um, in 14 games, you know, and then, what, 25 points out of 30 games? I, I don't think it would ever be a problem myself. I would easily see us being able to stay up uh, first time round. Um, do you know what I mean? I, I honestly think if we'd have got up there first time, we would have been fine anywhere. Um, you know what I mean? Because the, the first win the first window was just well, well, well we we got a few extra players, and that really helps us. You know what I mean? What more evidence do you need? Um, oh, well done! Oh, too much power, Yulu, and it was it was wide anywhere. Well, the oh, Bina and Yulu are looking good up front early on this season so that's good I'm just hoping that we can sell a few players um, have a bit of a squad clear out and then maybe just I think what we might do in this window well in this window is we might, might just pick from the non affiliated and just maybe add one or two to the team just see who's there you know what I mean and um, just go from there really but we look good so far in this one But um, you know, what I mean, I can't. I still can't get over it. I don't. I don't know, guys. Honestly, I don't know if the problem was maybe me doing the regulate condition on the final game, or we just lacked energy, or or what. I'm not so sure. But so we're uh, we're one nil up here. That's looking pretty good. And um, yeah, like I say, we're just. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep the same formation. Uh, for the new season, I think I'm gonna. I'm, I like this formation. It works for us. Um, you know, what I mean, we went undefeated in the second half of the season. You know, what I mean, we didn't lose a single match. Um, some of the, you know, some of the relegated teams might be difficult to play against. Maybe especially West Ham because they're gonna have like Tevers and whatnot, and they've got some pretty decent players. So um, I think, to be honest, West Ham might just be our um, rivals for promotion. To be honest, for the top spot anyway. But it's. Um, you know, even if we have to, we had to take second place. You know what I mean? I, I would easily, quite, quite happily take that, and uh, and whatnot. Fifteen. His eye out. Obina. Smeles. Oh no. Oh, come on. That's another free kick given to us. I mean, I know, I know how they feel now, guys. You know what I mean? I know, I know how teams feel now when they get so close to promotion and then lose, lose it all right at the end. You know what I mean? Like when, when a team gets to a playoff final and loses the playoff final. You know what I mean? Like in the in the championship in real life, you know, you play forty six league games. Um, you know, you might play an extra couple of ones if you get into the playoffs, which will be 48 games. You play the playoff final, you go lose it, which is your 49 games. So nearly 50 games just to lose and get so close and then having to do it all over again. So I know how they feel now. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? That's just such a pain in the ass. I mean, <laughs> you get that close and then, you know what I mean? It's not so bad in this game because you don't... Oh, he really should have got that on target. You get so close and then, what, you've got to play maybe another 50 games or so again just to have another shot. And who's to say you're going to even get promoted the season after? You know what I mean? It's it's a hard thing to take. You know what I mean? But I, I reckon the more time you spend in a, di in a division lower than the one you're trying to get in, I reckon the more prepared you'll be for it once you eventually get up there, to be honest. You know what I mean? It's probably better to... Um, you know, get your get your team working better. You know, and then obviously when you get up there, you just need to maybe add one or two um, players, and then just to, you know try your best. Really, here's Obina. He's using his pace. Oh, good save! Well done, Obina, though. 
I'm doing it, guys. I'm doing it. Guess what? I'm bringing Hampson on. <laughs> I'm bringing Hampson on. Why not? You know what I mean? I think we'll be fine. <laughs> Ooh, good pickup. Uh, he's on a, I think he's on red form anyway, but, you know, yeah, just, just whatever, guys. It's, it just doesn't matter at this point, does it? <laughs> You know what I mean? He's definitely one we want to get rid of. Um, hopefully. Don't think his loan at Celtic really did him any good. Didn't play against us. I mean, I don't even know if he scored or anything for Celtic. I don't think he did. Okay, that's decent. Good defending. Here's Yulu, Obina make the run please, here he is. Ah, oh, and uh, Yulu couldn't get in the right area. Ooh, okay. Usually enough picked up. Jimenez. Obina. Gets it. Oh, Obina. I think he's definitely our best signing. He's, he's been really good, Obina. It's, it's his pace for me that does it. Um, you know what I mean? His pace is really good, and he, you know what I mean. Players who've got good pace can use that, and um, you know, at, at this level as well, all the players in the game are pretty, are pretty slow. Like this team, when you first pick up this team, you'll find that the they are pretty slow. So uh, if we win this match, we'll get, I think, something like 500 extra points, which we just did. So, yeah, that'll be good. A uh, good start, good goal by Urbina as well. Um, so let's hopefully we can keep that going and pick up some extra points in the preseason fixtures. And, uh, well, who else? Urbina was the man of the match today. So a uh, good performance in Sewer here. Got a 7.0 for them. But, uh, no, I thought we was really good today. And Obina was definitely the star man. Gladback, who we just beat, want to buy him. So uh, we'll have a look at that. Uh, before we get into that, though, we need to renew some contracts, uh, which is... Hmm. Uh, let's see if we can lower this. I mean, we'll, we'll give you one more point because we're, we're going to need some of these players. I mean, we don't know if we're going to be able to get anyone, so we're going to have to just renew. Um, see if he'll accept that. <laughs> Just go one point more than what they're asking for. Uh, Espimus, um, yeah, let's go. Let's just offer one point more than what they what what they kind of want. Well, what they're on now, anyway. Um, because I'm really not so sure myself about this. Um, just try and get just get them on as cheap as possible. Really, that's the idea. Yeah. Um, Ordaz, yeah, we're going to have to do that. I mean, they might accept, I don't know. Castolo, I definitely want to sign Castolo on for another year, just in case we need him. Um, you know what, let's just offer him 500, whatever. F 501, whatever, let's go for it. Um, Gerson, let's change that as well. Uh, They come back, they come back. Hewlands, uh, I don't even think I want to renew Hewlands at all. Well, I think we're going to have to just do it anyway. You know what, let's just offer him that. Whatever. Um, so right, let's see what's happened here. Um, Severe 1,700. Wow, that is total crap, honestly. <laughs> um, Espanol have offered a bit more, and Gladbach have offered the exact same. So... Um... 
You know, I might leave it to you guys. Should I accept this or, you know what I mean, or not? I'm pro I think I'm probably going to have to, aren't I? Because... In fact, no, let's just get rid of him. Yeah, let's just, let's just go for it. You know what? We've just played glad back they can have him <laughs> whatever um so yeah so uh non-affiliated look at that walcott non-affiliated guys holy crap van bronkhorst as well what the hell's wrong with that because <laughs> uh it's so strange how he was available in pez uh, 5 and now he's available in pez 6 oh my god we have to get walcott i don't even care um Um, we'll offer him that to start off with. We'll offer him the basic amount. Oh, that'd be so good if we could get him. Uh, Van Bronckhorst is there. But I don't think he'd come to us. Oh, shit. He's not bad. Um, what do you think, guys? Oh, shit. Kuzak, or whatever his name is, is up for a free. Let's... Oh, God, there's so many good players here. <laughs> All of a sudden. And Nietzsche be. There's like five pages of this, guys. Holy crap. Nietzsche be is here. Um, Mark Gonzalez. Oh, Mark Gonzalez is available as well. Saviola on a free. Holy crap! Let's go for it. <laughs> let's uh, let's go for that because I know definitely one of you said about him. Um, let's have a look. Ishmael Miller, Richardson. Richardson doesn't look too bad. There's a lot of players here. It's more than what I was uh, thinking there might be. Um, Mido there as well. Ooh. Ooh, not bad. That could be one. Um, uh, let's have a look here. Maxwell. Maxwell's a pretty good player. Whoop, what am I doing? Um, Serginho. Oh my god, guys, there's so many good players here. What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> uh, Vucinic. Oh my, I don't think we'll get... I mean, some of these, I don't think they've come to us, to be honest. Um... Ah, oh, Vicinich is so good. I, just, I want all of these players. Belletti, DeSantos. We was after him before, wasn't we? DeSantos. I wonder if... Hmm. You guys are going to have to tell me all the ones you want me to go for. <laughs> and I've only got three to go for left. Um, we definitely need a keeper though, so... Rodriguez. Higuain. Holy hell. He's only 18 in this one. Um, uh, not sure how he develops though in this game. Um, mm, Zabina, not too bad. Uh, so yeah, like like I say, guys, just have a look through some Uzil. <laughs> Any eighteen in this game? Um, yeah, I think um Kadira. Oh my God. Um, like, I think what you guys should maybe do is, um, have a look at all the players here. I'll just go back through them again, and I want, what, what I would like you to kind of do is maybe, like, maybe tell me who I should go for, because, holy crap, <laughs> this is just incredible. Jersey Enrique there, um... Just, oh my god, there's so many players that we could just buy. Luciano. We definitely need uh, a keeper though, that's for sure. And um, that. So hopefully we might get Walcott if possible. Hopefully, hopefully. That'd be amazing if we do. Um, so yeah guys, let, let me know and um, I guess we'll, we'll I guess we'll basically see in the next episode um, <laughs> If any of these come back, we've got three more to make, so yeah. And each of these there. I don't, don't, I don't know about, um, where is he? Kuzak. That, that looks pretty good. I'm wondering about him. Might go for him. Um, like some of them, like Van Bronkost, I don't know if he'd come to us or anything like that. So, you know, let me know. But uh, yeah, that will do for this episode, guys. I can't put any of my players up for sale yet because um, I've got contract renewals going on right now. But um, join us for the next match against Getafe. Um, and hopefully we'll go on to win that one, get a few more points. Hopefully some play uh, teams will come in for uh, some of our players and um, 
hopefully it'll be pretty good so uh comment rate subscribe and share as always guys thank you for watching see you next time for Gazafa. see you uh, there